Peace and black power, family. Peace and black power. It's the Prince of Pan-Africanism, King Kong Consciousness, Intercontinental Ifa Tunde. Coming to you live and direct, Frederick Douglass Marcus Garvey Academy, Marcus Garvey Elementary School. Today is the first day of the second annual Revolutionary Pan-African Nationalist Fast. We fast to recommit ourselves to the supreme creator of this universe. We fast to realign ourselves with our destiny. We fast to intensify the relationship and communication portal between ourselves and the ancestors. And of course, we fast for the ultimate and total liberation of all African people around the world. Today is the day that the greatest black leader of the 20th century, the greatest Pan-Africanist of all time, the greatest black organizer of all time, the most honorable Marcus Messiah Garvey, joined the ancestors. June 10, 1940. So that would have been 79 years ago. 79 long years ago. And in Garvey's absence, we've had some great Pan-Africanists. Here in the States, we've had Stokely Carmichael, El Hajj Malik El Shabazz. On the continent, we've had most of our great Pan-Africanists post-Garvey. Osajifo, Dr. Kwame Nkrumah, the Honorable Patrice Lumumba, Julius Nyeri, Robert Sabukwe, so many others. But 89 years, 79 years ago. And one of the things we want to do here at the Frederick Douglass Marcus Garvey Academy campus is we want to revive Garveyism to a whole nother level. At this school, the philosophy and opinions of the Honorable Marcus Garvey will be taught as a class, as will the philosophy and opinions of the Honorable Frederick Douglass will also be taught as a class. So brothers and sisters, these next 21 days, we want to really search our souls. We want to pray, fast, read, study, meditate. Energy is going to be on low. I'm going to be in Detroit speaking on an empty stomach. I'm going to be in Atlanta speaking on an empty stomach. I'm going to be in Hartford, Connecticut speaking on an empty stomach. I'm going to be in Springfield, Massachusetts. Speaking on an empty stomach, but I can do this. Last fast, I didn't speak at all for the 21 days. This fast, I'll be challenged because I'll be speaking. I might got to swallow a smoothie or something, make sure I don't pass out. But you know, I was born with the microphone in my hand. I was born with the microphone in my hand. So we will make it pop off. Miami, Florida, you have just been confirmed. The Prince of Pan-Africanism will be coming back to Miami, Florida. Saturday, July 24th, 2 until 8. Miami is coming. Las Vegas boot camp is about to be booked in a minute. Las Vegas, Nevada boot camp is about to be booked in a minute. I got a lot of positive reviews with my interview that I did with uh, Brother Kalen, Kalen K.R. Walker. So I think I'm going to start doing Therapy Thursdays. I think I'm going to start doing Therapy Thursdays, life coaching, conversations, different brothers and sisters, different issues from their life. It seems like a lot of people got a lot out of that conversation with Brother Kalen. So I think it's time for me to start having a regular. I think it's time for me to start having a regular. Life coaching conversation by way of the lot. We're going to work on that. We about to spend a lot of money in one day, brothers and sisters. We're going to drop about a hundred grand in one day because we got to pay for the HVAC unit for the Garvey school. That's 50 grand. And then we got to put down a $50,000 down payment for the Newcastle County 
property taxes. So I need y'all to hit that cash app. We about to spend a hundred thousand dollars in one day. Fifty grand for the HVAC unit. Fifty grand down payment for the Newcastle County property tax bill. Hit your cash app. Dollar sign FDMG School. Hit the cash app. Dollar sign FDMG School. Hit the cash app. Dollar sign FDMG School. Hit your PayPal. PayPal.me slash FDMG Academy. PayPal.me slash FDMG Academy. PayPal.me slash FDMG Academy. Got a lot of donation checks. I'm going to be depositing this weekend. Don't cancel no donation checks. Do not call the bank and stop payment on any of the donation checks. They're going to be deposited this weekend, brothers and sisters. We working. We working. We working. We getting it done. We getting it done. Okay. What else we got? Unapologetically African Festival. Let me say this about the Unapologetically African Festival in case some of you have what I need. Let me say this about the Unapologetically African Festival. I need a stage and a sound system. It must be excellent. It must be top notch. The microphone must be crystal clear. Must have the ability to play CDs, Wi-Fi, USB, whatever the case may be. So if there's any brothers out there, I want to keep the money in the community. I want to keep the money in the community. I want to keep the money in the community. Why do I always need something? Because I'm building, sister. Something you're not doing. I'm building for the people. That's why you can't. That's why I'm always needing. Because when you build a nation, you always need stuff. You don't understand that because black people don't build anything for ourselves. Not for the community. You might open up a hair salon. You might open up a restaurant. But you ain't building no hospitals, no schools, no banks, no supermarkets. We're not used to that. We're still operating on slave consciousness. That's why we're fasting right now. Why he always needs something. Because I'm building an empire for the race. I'm building a new reality for African children. That's why I always need something. You don't understand it because we're not used to building institutions for ourselves. Most black institutions are really white institutions that appear to be black institutions. I said most black institutions are really white institutions that appear to be black institutions. That's why you cannot understand me. You cannot understand me and you cannot overstand me. That's why you can't understand me. You can't understand me and you can't overstand me. I'm a nation builder. Most of you don't build anything but a new YouTube page, a new Facebook account. I'm an institution builder. You and me, we're not the same. But anyway, brothers and sisters, I'm looking for a black sound company that can event a black event company that can provide the stage and the sound stage and the sound. If there's any black company out there that is near Wilmington, Delaware, if there's any black company, hey, sister Montrese, good to see you there, queen. If there's any black company out there that has sound and stage and you want to make a couple of dollars, we need you to set up for the first annual unapologetically African Family First Festival here on the grounds of the Frederick Douglass Marcus Garvey Academy. We need sound. If you are a company that provides activities for children, face painting, uh, the different blow up toys, the big swimming pool. If you provide activities for children, please send me, text me your information. Text me a link to your website. Text me some pictures of some of the activities that you provide. If you do uniforms for basketball or flag football, if you do uniforms for basketball or flag football, send me your information. We're going to try to have a flag football tournament. 
We're going to try to have a flag football tournament, and we're going to try to have a basketball tournament, boys and girls, unless y'all think we should do co-ed. Men and women, boys and girls, unless y'all think we should do co-ed. We're going to do that at the Unapologetically African Festival. Hopefully the Nat Turner, Jean-Jacques Dessalines Gymnasium will be ready. Hopefully the Nat Turner, Jean-Jacques Dessalines Gymnasium will be ready. All right. All right. Activities for children. We need a stage. What else do we need, y'all, for the block party? What else do we need? If you do decorations, I'm talking about balloons, flags. We need the big RBG flags. We need the FDMG symbol on balloons. Already got a sister who could do the T-shirts. Who can do the balloons? If there's a black owned company that does balloons out there, we need about 500 FDMG balloons. They're going to look just like this. White balloon with the logo. They're going to look just like this. White balloon with the logo. If you have a black owned, uh, what do we want to call that? A uh, black owned paraphernalia company. Black owned paraphernalia company. If you make frisbees and cups and hats and wristbands, you need to get at me. If you make frisbees and cups and hats and wristbands, you need to get at me, family. You need to get at me, family. You could text my phone, 215-989-9858. 215-989-9858. I think I got to send somebody to the block party today. And I ain't talking about the FDMG party. Get your ass off my lodge, you dusty ass coon. Brothers and sisters, I'm fasting today. The energy is low, but the spirit is high. I'm fasting today. The energy is low, but the spirit is high. We doing what we got to do. We doing what we got to do. We doing what we got to do. Getting the school ready for the babies. That's what we doing. Getting the school ready for the babies. That's what it's about. Hit the cash app, dollar sign FDMG school. Hit the PayPal, paypal.me slash FDMG Academy. That's what it's about. Institution building. We talking institution building. That's what we do around here. That's what we do around here, brothers and sisters. That's what we do around here. Hit the cash app. Unapologetically African Family First Festival. The Kwanzaa Conference will be right here inside of FDMG. The Kwanzaa Conference will be right here inside of FDMG. The Kwanzaa Conference will be right here inside of FDMG, brothers and sisters. The Kwanzaa Conference. All 10 of these classrooms are going to be filled up. Seminars, think tanks, workshops. That's coming this Kwanzaa. That's coming this Kwanzaa. Last week of December, FDMG going to be lit. We're going to have the heat on, the music on, the intercom, the vendors. It's going to be lit. Please don't get added to the Book of Negroes. Please don't get added to the Book of Negroes. Please don't get added to the Book of Negroes, brother. Kwanzaa conference is going to be lit. You're going to have to register. Okay. Loyal donors get first dibs. Followed by repeat donors, followed by random donors. I really think the Kwanzaa Conference is probably only going to be able to accommodate the donors. If you're not a donor, I don't know why you want to come anyway if you ain't donated in six years. But if you're not a donor, we might can accommodate you for the Kwanzaa. The Kwanzaa Conference might be donors only. 